Okay guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a different kind of video. I'm gonna try a new style. So instead of doing like a 10 minute video or 15 minute video on how to install these, what I'm gonna do is basically just tell you about the issue, how to solve it, and what you wanna look out for. So if you lifted your Tacoma like me, and your CV boots are now touching, the whole way you, that you'll know, especially if yours are kind of older like mine, have some dust on them, is you'll actually see a ring like this in your CV boot. And do you wanna know what that is? That's basically this part of the CV boot and this part touching. And that touching basically causes friction and will wear out this CV boot over time and cause it to rip. So what I did is basically pulled this out maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch, so they're no longer touching now. You can see there's a nice little bit of gap. You just wanna make sure you don't go too far where you're stretching the top up here. But you know, mine is good. If you look on your outside CV boot, mine's been fine with no contact because you mainly care about the ribs of the CV, CV boot touching. That's what causes a lot of the wear. So if we come over here, as you can see, same exact thing over here on the driver's side. So basically just go in, buy some new clamps like I did here, pull this part out, maybe quarter, half an inch, until these boots are no longer touching at all. See underneath there, see how there is some space now? That's what you wanna see. You wanna see them no longer touching and be pulled apart. And then now you will you should no longer get that wear. What I recommend you do is take either a white Sharpie or a white marker and kind of mark up where this line is here and just make sure that Sharpie doesn't disappear. That way you know that there is no additional wear or you could wipe it down and then put some Sharpie on. But I'm probably just gonna take some white Sharpie put it in here and just make sure it doesn't wear off or look like it's wearing still. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. I'll leave the description to the CV boot clamps that I used. And uh, other than that, hope you guys appreciate the video. And this will basically save you, you know, six between, you know, 60 and $600 if you have to replace your CVs or if you're just going to do the boots. So uh, yeah, hope you guys appreciate the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.